Uh, so first of all, could you guys tell me who you are and a little bit about the uh, NASA program and co video competition that you guys are working on? So I'm Dan Jacobs, I work at the Space Station program, and uh, Cinespace is a new film competition that we're premiering this fall, we were created together with the Houston Cinema Art Society. The uh, festival or competition is built around the idea of people obtaining NASA imagery and using it to create their own films and their own vision. And then submitting it to the competition for potential cash prizes, for viewing at film festivals, uh, and for NASA to use in its publicity. So our whole objective is to get as many people seeing NASA imagery of all types as we can, get them make their own products, show it to their audiences, and uh, just increase the number of people that have a chance to see and experience the footage, the imagery that NASA produces. I'm Carlos Fontana. I manage imagery for the space station program. We are working, as Dan said, on a new website where the public is going to be able to go and download video and imagery from the early days of NASA, the Apollo Mercury days, all the way to space station. You'll be able to download the video and create it to create your own productions for the Cinespace film festival or any other production. So is all the images and... Uh-oh. So are all the images and um, video that are going to be on there agency-wide or is it just from JSC? A good question. It's agency-wide. All the NASA centers from, for instance, JPL with interplanetary type of imagery, the Mars rover, some animation, Jupiter, and Voyager missions to the space station, shuttle space station, to other centers. Yes, it's all available now on the website. All right, excellent. And in the talk, you guys mentioned a little bit about art and science and their relationship, so I'm wondering if you could elaborate on that a little bit more. Yeah, Don could probably talk more about that. But I think one of the points, interesting points he made is a lot of times that when we produce images to try to portray data and ways to look at data and understand data, it turns out the images are also art. And you can appreciate them without knowing the data at all for their own, their own artistic and aesthetic quality. So that intersection, as Trish mentioned, is one of the things we hope people can, can show with their films they make here about how some of the videos that are being made for scientific engineering purposes have their own qualities as art that can be, can be used in uh, new products. Excellent. So would you say art and science feed each other in some way, shape, or form? By all means. <laughs> By all means. All right. Well, thank you, gentlemen, so much. I appreciate it. Thank you.